If you're going for any of the mastery camos, you're gonna to wanna to know how to get long shots as fast as possible because there are a lot of challenges that require long shots. So I'll cover some of the common mistakes and best practices to make this grind as efficient as possible so you can get that polyatomic sooner rather than later. One important disclaimer is that this specific challenge is going to be significantly easier once they add tier one into the game formerly known as hardcore because a lot of the guns you'll be able to hit one shot or two bullets and that will give you the kill and effectively give you that long shot versus some of the guns in the game it takes like five seven shots at range and that can be a little bit tricky especially if you're staring down snipers with their optic glint or whoever the case is so the important part to understand is the individual ranges you need to hit someone to get a long shot for shotguns, it's 12 and a half meters or more. For pistols, it's 20 meters or more. SMGs, 30 meters or more. And then we have assault rifles, battle rifles, LMGs, as well as marksman rifles, 38 meters or more. And then sniper rifles come in at 50 meters where you need to get that long shot. So you have to factor that in. And I'm seeing a lot of people challenging fights that are super long, double, triple, even that distance they need to hit, and they're making the challenge significantly harder. If I jump into the ground war, floating around in the helicopter or whatever, and trying to shoot people at 80 meters when they can just snipe you, is making it a little bit more challenging. Obviously, there are different things. Once the tier one's out, all those challenges will be very easy. Uh, but if you're in a hurry to get polyatomic, you're gonna wanna be able to grind it and get in there. And one of the biggest things that I've found to help out with this, which we haven't had in recent years, is a target finder. And there's a couple. There is the X10 Angel 40, which is the one I primarily recommend because you're good up to about 45, 50 meters. You're gonna be able to hit shots. You build the builds correctly. You have to use the TAC 56 to unlock the TAC M. And at level 11 on the TAC M, is where you unlock this specific optic. And the reason why this is so important is because it's gonna make your job significantly easier on being able to find specific ranges. There's plenty of times in the gameplay you're kind of seeing in the background where maybe it was like 37 meters and I'm like, oh man, I wouldn't have gotten a long shot if I didn't take a couple steps back to make sure it's 39 or 40 meters to push me over that 38 meter threshold. So you're able to maximize the amount of kills you're getting as long shots. And obviously there's specific points on the map, which you kind of see in a little bit in the gameplay where I'm positioned in a specific spot. Obviously camping in an objective game mode where people are likely to rotate out. Hard point, headquarters are pretty good. And, and you kind of just use the sight lines to your advantage. It is campy, it is boring, but at the end of the day, it is the most efficient way. If you're just gonna play organically, you will eventually get it. But that's not why you're here on the video. You're not here to eventually get it. You want it right now. So that's why you're gonna wanna use this optic and choose these sight lines appropriately. And as you get more accustomed to, hey, this is a spot where I can get 38 meter long shots, this is a spot that's more like 25 meters. I'm gonna use my pistol right here, or this is where shotguns could be. And when, as soon as your kind of mind kind of understands where these various ranges are, it makes it infinitely easier to get the long shot because then you could just swap out the optic to something of your preference, at least until you get that memory dialed in. Right now, I could switch it, but I'm overall kind of liking the optic. So it kind of makes it easy. I don't have really any glint on it either. And in the firing range, it will not update with the actual distance. But as you saw from the gameplay, anytime you're aiming down sight, you can make the adjustment in game to be able to accommodate those changes so that you can actually be able to hit the target at the various ranges, which 50 meters, that's the sniper long shot. We don't need to be hitting 50 meters. We need 38, which is somewhere between target the furthest target and the middle target, right in the middle, and we don't wanna be wasting bullets or time aiming at something that is not going to account because we're trying to be as efficient as possible. And that's what I would recommend using this specific optic until you know where they're at and you kind of have an idea of what's gonna make the most sense. And you can already see I have 12 polyatomic and that's on a pace of getting about three or four done per hour, which is pretty efficient. Obviously, some matches are gonna be better than others and some are gonna be worse, but this should give you the best opportunity to make sure that every kill you're getting is a long shot that you need. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.